Time to go behind enemy lines, sponsored by Microsoft Teams. With Amy Wells, I'm Mike Keith, welcoming Larry Lage from the Associated Press in Michigan to talk about this week's opponent, the Detroit Lions. Larry, thanks so much for your time. It's my pleasure. Larry, the Lions experienced a coaching change a couple weeks ago. Have you noticed any big differences since Daryl Bevel took over? I think the one thing that has happened in this coaching change is the players have a renewed sense of life. They seem a little more energized. The last four losses under Patricia, the Lions lost by at least 14 points. And as you know in the NFL, when you lose by that many points, you got routed, right? I mean, most games come down to the wire, and that's what's happened in the last two weeks under Darryl Bubble. If Matthew Stafford can't go at quarterback for Detroit on Sunday, who do the Lions roll out? So Chase Daniel is... The longtime veteran, seldom starter that the Lions would go to, and they had to go with him against the Packers. And Chase Daniel led him in a scoring drive that gave him a shot. And then David Blau, who was an undrafted rookie last year with the Browns. And, you know, whether Stafford can go or not, we won't know. And it may go until Sunday and how he feels in warm-ups. Let's switch to the other side of the ball and talk about the Lions' defense. How would you characterize that defensive effort? Their secondary is in really shaky shape right now. Jeff Okuda, he's on IR. Desmond Trufant, who they thought still had something left in the tank, and maybe he does, but he could not get or stay healthy this year. You know, that's tough. Larry Lage from the Associated Press in Michigan, thanks for taking us behind enemy lines, sponsored by Microsoft Teams.